This question number four from Pierce and Excel A level exam, pure math three. Exam was taken in January 2024. The function f is defined by f of x equals 2x square minus 32 divided by 3x square plus 7x minus 20 plus 8 over 3x minus 5 and x is greater than 2. x belongs to real number. Show that f of x equals to 2x over 3x minus 5. Actually, we need to simplify these fractions. Uh, to save time, I already wrote the fraction here. So in this question, what we need to do, we have to factorize. First step, factorize. Or you can take common from these two numbers. And here in the denominator, you can factorize. You can make the pairs for this. So here, numerator is very easy to factorize. We can take common. So 2 is common here. We can write as x squared minus 16 divided by, we need to factorize this. Here is the way how to factorize. Let me teach you this denominator. 3x squared plus 7x minus 20 there is a technique of factorizing uh, this quadratic just multiply this number by 20 we get 60 here is 60 actually you are multiplying 3 to this number only and you will get rid of, of this 3 here okay right here option 1 so it is this is easier to factorize instead of taking 3 here so now you can easily factorize this expression here is 60 now 60 pairs are many but we will choose that pair that will make the middle number so right here x and x so we will find plus 12 and negative 5 plus 12 and negative 5 is satisfying both condition 12 multiplied negative 5 will make negative 60 12 minus 5 will make the middle number now because you multiply 3 here so same number you divide here then you can simplify this 3 and 12 we will get x plus 4 and shift this 3 here that's it so this is the one way of factorizing I think this is more easier to factorization for factorizing. Directly you can write this one equals to this value. So we can write here x plus 4 and 3x minus 5 plus 8 over 3x minus 5. This is the difference of two squares. Here is x square and here is 4 square. Uh, you remember the formula a square minus b square is equal to a plus b and a minus b. We can use this formula here in the numerator so it will be 2 into x plus 4 and x minus 4 and we can write as x plus 4 and 3x minus 5 plus 8 over 3x minus 5 this x plus 4 can be cancelled out and uh, now you look at the denominator denominator is same so you can write a common denominator here that is 3x minus 5 now the numerators will remain same 2 will multiply with x and minus 4 we get here 2x minus 8 and plus 8 with plus 8 here cancel out and uh, we got the result 2x over 3x minus 5 this is as required so first part is done using calculus that f is decreasing function f is decreasing if the derivative of the function is less than 0 this is the rule if it is greater than 0 then function is increasing so first of all you should know how to differentiate this function this is f of x we can use here quotient rule uh, let me tell you the quotient rule how to differentiate a quotient rule like that u over v form we write here square of the denominator write denominator as is take the derivative of the numerator minus numerator as is take the derivative of denominator this is the formula of quotient rule so let us check what is the derivative of this function we can use the same quotient rule here because it is a fraction so we can apply that way so this will be equals to square of the denominator then write denominator as is and derivative of the numerator derivative of numerator is 2 minus write the numerator and take the derivative of denominator denominator derivative is 3 now we can expand the bracket 2 multiply 3x will be 6x minus 10 minus 6x divided by 3x minus 5 whole square. This 6x is cancelled out and we get the result for uh, this is derivative actually, derivative of the function. And uh, derivative of uh, f of x will be equal to negative 10 over 3x minus 5 whole square. 3x minus 5 whole square. And we know that. Uh, this value is less than 0 for sure. The reason is 3x minus 5 square is always positive. 
greater than 0 we can write here hence hence f is decreasing so the result is proved second part is done now we can move on to uh, c uh, the function g is defined as 3 g of x equals to 3 plus 2 log x find inverse of g now we need to find inverse of g 3 plus 2 log x or c g of x equals 3 plus 2 log x first step uh, replace here with y and we will write as 3 plus 2 log x and now the next step to find the inverse we will interchange the variable interchange the variable y and x will be interchanged so here will be x and then 3 plus 2 log y now the third step of finding inverse is we will make y as object that y will be our inverse bring this 3 on left side so it will be x minus 3 equals to 2 log y and you can write as log y equals x minus 3 divided by 2 to get rid of log, we will take the exponent of both sides. We know how to get rid of it. So it will be e power x minus 3 divided by 2. Therefore, this is the inverse of g, g inverse x will be equals to e to the power x minus 3 divided by 2. This is the answer for part c. Last part, find the exact value of a for which g of f of a is let me write these two functions we have one function f of x and other is the g of x uh, f of x is this one and g of x is this one so just think write these two functions again then we will find g of f of a equals to 5 and then we could find the value of a for the f of x is equals to 2x over 3x minus 5 and g of x equals 3 plus 2 log x given that in the question g f of a equals to 5 first thing first we should get the value of f of a f of a we can find from here f of a will be equals to 2a over 3x uh, instead of x we will write a minus 5 now we can find easily value of g g of f of a we can write as like this g of substitute the value of this f of a f of a is 2a over 3a minus 5. now we can get the value answer for this part we will substitute x as this value here so it will be equals to 3 plus 2 log 2a over 3a minus 5 this is the answer for g of f of a and whole thing is equals to 5 so we can substitute this value equals to 5 3 plus 2 2 log 2a over 3a minus 5 equals to 5 now we'll solve it and we'll get a value of a from here implies that 2 log 2a over 3a minus 5 is equals to this 3 goes to the right side and becomes 2. 2 will cancel out from both sides. So log 2a over 3a minus 5 will be equals to 1. To get rid of log, we will take the exponent. Implies that 2a over 3a minus 5 will be equals to e to the power 1. That's it now we multiply this value to the right side so it will be 2a equals to 3ae minus 5e now collect a is on one side better you take this value on the right side and bring this value on left side so 5e equals to 3ae minus 2a a is common here 5e equals 3e minus 2 and a is common this will divide to the other side so a will be equals to 5e over 3e minus 2. So this is the answer for A. Uh, part D is done and question number 4 is done.